and the dogs start barking. Hello, everybody. Still barking. Uh, check this out. I got my Bubba out. So this holds like three cups of coffee. So that's less trips. Get in the house! Less trips um, to the kitchen for coffee. So let's do some Friday reads. Okay, so first off, I really want to get through this because it's just batshit crazy. I already told you a little bit about it. Loving and Hating Charles Bukowski by Linda King. Um, she is a character. I don't know another way to describe her. She is just a character. Um, it's a lot of fun, and it's not as um, up its own ass as Scarlet was. Which we've talked about. Um, I started just reading through On Love. So far, um, I'm not very far into it, but um, the choices that are in here are really good. And these are not um, poems or stories or anything that were Martinized by John Martin, like reworked or heavily edited. So um, this Abel D. Burrito... I think is how you say his name. I don't know. Um, anything he touches, um, I'm okay with. This has been taking everything in me not to start going through um, Teatro Grotesco again. Um, I'm waiting until the first. Um, I just I can't wait to read Purity again. It is such a good story. Oh, I just started looking at it again. Okay, um, so... We're not going to read this, even though it's in my Friday Reads pile. It's not going to happen. We're waiting. We are waiting for the mother-effing group read, people. Do you understand what I'm saying? We're not reading this yet, so it's going up here. It's not getting read yet. Um, <clears throat> and I'm hoping to finish this this weekend. It's still... I still got to... And this is like the last leg of this book, dude. Um... I, I, I'm going to get a bag for this and hang it up. It's lovely, but um, it's just beat to all hell. And every time I open it up to read it, I feel like it's going to fall apart. <clears throat> but I'm actually going to hit up Bookish to ask him if he read um, this bit in here, because it, it was just really good. Um and it was quite ref refreshing not being about Nixon. But um, what lured Hemingway to catch him? It's a really cool article that he wrote um, about Hemingway's last days. And um, I just want to get his take on it. But um, if there's anything, any articles in here that you've read that you really dug... Let me know down below, because I would love to discuss them with you, um, or anything like that. But this has been just uh, a love and hate read for me. Um, more love than hate, obviously, but uh, I just, I worry at what, like, my kids' generation, if they'll even know who this guy is, like... Um, I just feel like he's gonna fall by the wayside unless, um, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas gets remade into a movie again. Um, who freaking knows? The other thing I'm gonna do, um, and I've been putting this off because I really don't want to do it, but, um, I feel like I should. Um, I read On the Road by Jack Kerouac when I was in high school. And I was not impressed with it, or to quote um, the lovely Shania Twain, that don't impress me much. And um, I don't know, but I feel like I'm different. I'm a different person than I was then. A lot of books that I liked back then, I've reread and don't like them as much. Um, Books that I didn't like back then, I've reread and absolutely love now. So, um, I'm going to give that one a go. Um, I have Big Sur, 
and I was going to start that, um, but I would rather do on the road right now, but I don't have a copy of that. I don't have a physical copy of it. I have an ebook of it. Um, but I don't know. So depending on if I finish, um, the great shark hunt by Hunter S. Thompson, um, sometime, uh, in the next couple days, I might, uh, start that or at least I'll order it and maybe it'll get here by like Tuesday and I can read it next week. So anyway, that's what I'm reading. What are you reading? Let me know down below. Oh, and if you're not reading anything, I just posted an audiobook of this guy reading this book by this guy. Um, so that's interesting. So, um, yeah. The End of Everything by me, read by me, is on my YouTube channel now. And so that'll be fun. You could do that. Um, and also make sure you check out Poetic Anarchy, four week course. We're going to get to the nitte gritte of poetry. Okay. Oh, wow. That was like four. I could be a rhyming poet and people will respect me. That's crazy. All right. So um, I'll leave all that information down below. You guys are awesome. Oh, you know what? Also, I'll, I'll pitch one more thing. Uh, a week from Saturday. So June 5th, I'm going to be doing a live reading on YouTube um, where you guys could heckle me the whole time and everything. And I'm going to be reading stuff from Pharma Phoenix Rises and my older um, poetry chapbooks like um, All My Friends Are Dead, Acid, Ingrown Air, and um, The Exhausted Bird. And... Um, I'm going to be reading that and I'm going to be unveiling what June's chapbook is going to be and read a little, a couple little things out of that. So, um, that is mark it on your calendars. I know you guys keep calendars on your cell phones, so just put it in there. It's going to be six o'clock Pacific. So nine o'clock Eastern, I think is how that works in other countries. It will be much later than that I don't know what but it'll be good times you know we'll have a little bit of the and um, you guys could talk shit to me while I read to you okay so let me know if that sounds fun but let me know what you guys are reading down below and if you have any Hunter Thompson um, favorite articles out of this book let me know because I would love to talk about them so I will see you later